Hey, what's up? It's Nicola Milan and welcome back to another singing tutorial. Uh, now today I have the four worst and most evil singing, bad singing habits that newbie beginner singers fall into. And let me tell you, this is kind of like a personal pet hate list. Yeah, when I hear like beginner singers doing these things or if I'm teaching a lesson and this is happening, it just like, oh, drives me nuts. So yes, I'm going to reveal what these four evil bad habits are so that you can avoid them at all costs. All right, so evil, bad, nasty, never do it, singing habit uh, number one. And this one really makes you sound unpolished and also slightly off pitch. That is slurring. And what I mean by slurring is not a deliberate slur. It means slightly slurring up to the note. And the reason singers do this is because they haven't developed their musical hearing quite yet. And they haven't heard the exact pitch in their head. And so they kind of help themselves by maybe like sliding up to the note. It's kind of like a cheat way of doing it. But basically it really, it sounds, it sounds like shit. Um, for example, uh, hang on, let's do, let's do a, let's do a bit of a song. Let's do, um, let's do, where are you? Uh, let's do Honeysuckle Rose for this one. So to give you an example, Honeysuckle Rose goes like this. Every honeybee fills with jealousy when they see you out with me. I don't blame them, goodness knows. Yeah, my honeysuckle goes. Anyway, so if you were to slur this, instead of going cleanly, every honeybee, you would slur up every honeybee. You'd probably go, eh, 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 and it <laughs> Every honeybee fills with jealousy. See that annoying little slur? When they... And it happens frequently, like on, uh, literally on all the notes because you haven't got the pitch. And you don't hear it either, which is really annoying. They see you out with me. Whereas really, if you're gonna slide, you wanna make it into a dramatic effect that actually adds to the song. Every honeybee feels with jealousy. Those are deliberate slides. So you see the difference? So the way to do this, and the problem is, is a lot of singers don't even realize they're sliding because uh, it's all about developing your musical hearing, being able to recognize these things. So to test whether you're sliding annoyingly <laughs> or not is to record yourself singing and then listen back and listen for whether you're sliding or not mm. bad and evil habit number two is blurring over a riff or a run so if you've got a sequence of really fast notes and um, let's just say like this scat at the end of honeysuckle rose i don't blame them goodness no yeah, my honeysuckle. Okay, so instead of going and obviously, oh god, do you know how hard it is to repeat something like a scat when you've just made it up to try to remember what it is that you've done? But I shall try. Something like that. Instead of breaking it down. And getting all the notes and then speeding it up. What happens is newbie singers kind of go. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm like, I'm exaggerating that, but you know what I mean? Like, it's a. It's kind of like a little blurred a little bit funky the intonation's not there and it just sounds crap so and that's the trick to fixing that is just like i showed you then slow it down nail the notes then speed it up evil singing habits <laughs> i'm calling them evil they are evil singing habits because they make you sound crap and they annoy singing teachers <laughs> so evil habit number three and this is a big one and this if you sing pop or contemporary singers, contemporary music, 
I'm talking to you. Or even if you, I mean, I know this is a jazz blues singing channel, but even if you love something like gospel, you know, or you're like an Aretha Franklin or like Etta James fan and you're like, I just want to sing at last, you know, at last. Even those phenomenal singers who have like super powerful belt instruments do not belt the entire way through the song. So if I didn't announce it, yeah, that's that's the bad singing habit, which is belting all the way through the song. Um, and you see belting all the way through the song on things like, you know, Australian Idol, like American Idol, Australian Idol, or like X Factor. And they kind of get up there on stage and they belt the whole song and the audience is going, Aah! but really, you know, it, it's, <clears throat> it just sounds crap. Like you've got to tell the story. So if you listen to, go and listen to Aretha Franklin sings the blues, it will change your life. Literally like that album of hers is just, ah, oh, she is phenomenal. Like her, the versatility that she has with her voice, oh, just like the light and the shade. She is so the fragility that she brings out in her notes. You know, I mean, the woman's a powerhouse. She can sing whatever she wants. If she wanted to belt the whole time, she would, but she doesn't because she's a storyteller. So um, <clears throat> to give you an example of this, you know, blame it on my youth. Nice ballad. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to start from the B section. If you were on my mind all night and day, Nice and soft. Where am I? Blame it on my youth. Okay, now we're starting to grow. If I forgot to eat, and I'm still not there yet. Now we're gonna start a bit of a belt here. And that's a belt. And sleep and pray. Blame it. A belt on my youth. Coming back down again. You. fragile rather than going if I cried a little bit you know what I mean like belting the whole way through you're kind of losing the emotion from the song so yes do not belt all the way through tell the story you've got to have the light and the shade and my very last and one of the most evil singing bad singing habits that newbie singers can fall into and this is actually quite a dangerous one because you can hurt yourself with this one and that is belting with your chest voice so you see this on new singers who want to sing high notes but they haven't yet developed like or worked through the mechanics of how the voice works so they still have a lot of vocal tension or they have a big break in the middle of their chest and their head voices and they haven't worked out how to navigate around that or you know, change their resonance in order to unlock their voice. Um, and so what happens is they start, you know, if you're in your, tr your true chest voice and you sing la, 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 <clears throat> la, 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 it's quite a harsh, powerful speech level voice. But if you use it to push up, la, 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 it sounds bloody awful. And you know, you end up straining and getting your notes stuck in your throat because you haven't switched your resonance. Um, because you haven't learned how to do that and you can really damage your voice doing this and it sounds like shit It sounds really bad. So don't do it I mean if you do want to learn how to unlock your voice and work through all this stuff You can do so in my singing Academy, which I will link down below because we go through all of that but a little strategy to kind of get around this while you're learning um, is to either sing it lower so you avoid those high notes or sing the high notes in your head voice, even if it's gonna be super, super, super weak, because at least that way you're not gonna damage your voice. So those are my four bad singing habits that newbie singers always fall into. Make sure you do not fall into the evil cesspit of bad singing pitfalls. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more singing tutorials like this one. And also, if you would like to um, head on over to my other YouTube channel, because I have two ch channels. I've got this one, which is all my, about my singing tutorials. And then I have my official, official Nicola Milan singing channel. Um, and I put my music up there as well. But I've also started doing 
really inspirational content. Uh, for example, how to like being alone. And this video talks about like the difference between being lonely and being alone. And I actually created that to help people through the whole COVID situation. So there's some of that kind of motivational and arty content as well up on that channel. I will link it below. Thank you so much for watching and spending this time with me. And I will see you again in the next video. When first we came, blame it on my youth.